Hey guys, so this is the very first lathe I ever bought. I, uh, I bought it used and I overpaid for it, but this thing has more than paid for itself. Um, you can see I have bags of concrete here. Those two used to sit up here on this shelf when I was using this thing because it, it liked the dance when you were using it. It just, I guess it was just excited and stuff. But, uh,. <laughs> Yeah, so now that I've got the Rikon that you guys have seen in the videos, this thing just collects dust. So you can, yeah. So in the interest of making room in the shop, this thing has to do one of two things. It needs to either earn its space in the shop or it's got to go. And uh, I think I'm going to make this thing earn its space in the shop. So that's the plan for today. Cheap Harbor Freight, this thing just paid for itself with that one cut. Alrighty, step one is complete. <laughs> she not the same as she was just a few minutes ago. So, yeah. Hey, you know, I could stop right here and have a bowl lathe. Of course, you know, it overheat and shut down halfway through the bowl, but by God, that'd be a bowl lathe. Alright, on to step two.
All right, guys, so another chore has been done. Now I'll use this old lathe. <laughs> yeah, so uh, and and I didn't I didn't injure myself this afternoon. So that's that's a plus. <laughs> I said some bad words here and there, but all in all it went this one went kind of without too many problems. I need to build a new stand for this thing, and I will. I just wanted to get this thing up and going. Um, and just cutting down the stand it was on seemed like a really efficient way to go. So on top of making more room, I found my little uh, my little baby mallet. It had been buried back there. I was wondering where that went. Um, this is my little baby mallet that I like to use. No handle on it. Um, but let me see if I can, yeah, this is crab apple and guys, this stuff is the hardest wood I have ever, ever turned. Very, very hard stuff. Not a ding on this thing. And I've been using it for a very long time and I actually turned this on this lathe. So now I have a, a disc sander and I have more room in the shop. So that's, that's always a good thing. This is uh, this is definitely a huge step in the right direction. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.